guys, it's Cindy Leach, your polymer clay tutor, and today in the PCT test lab, we are testing unglazed polymer clay in a homemade snow globe that has water and glycerin as its solution. Now, it is Halloween right now, so naturally we are talking about Christmas. <laughs> you've probably noticed this and if you've gone to a retail store like Costco or Michaels or anything like that, that Christmas starts really early, usually at least by Halloween. So um, what I wanted to do, a while ago I was thinking I would like to make snow globes um, with polymer clay. And in fact, I have this resin snow globe that's sitting around the house that's pretty lame. And I was thinking it would be much more fun to make a really, really great looking polymer clay one. But I had some questions on whether or not the polymer clay would do very well sitting in water and glycerin. Now the glycerin, the reason why the glycerin is in the water, which I'll, I'll talk about all of this in a second, but the glycerin's there to keep the glitter floating a little bit better. So it's nicer to have the glycerin in there. So back in July, um, I took, so in July uh, 18th, 2016, I took a jar and I threw a couple of unglazed polymer clay pieces in there. I didn't want to go to the whole work of making a, a proper snow globe if it wasn't going to work. So I wanted to test it first. So I just took something I already had sitting around. Um, I'll take it out of here in a second. But it was similar to what I have here. Um, I had a Natasha bead and it kind of looked like a super modern uh, Christmas tree to me. And I had um, I actually had a couple of those in there and I had a little um, owl bead. Both of these things I've done in tutorials in the past. Um, and I put some water, some glycerin and some glitter into this jar and I let it sit for several months. So th whatever that is, July, August, September, October. So th three months, three or four months. So what I want to do first is see if it's going to be worth um, working with. So I'm going to just check it out, open it up. I had it on there really tight and it always is super full when you do them otherwise you get too big of an air gap in the top and I just wanted to see if they if they're okay in there um, okay so let's pull this out probably should have got a towel it doesn't look like it's caused any um, problems with breaking and this is unglazed they were sanded and buffed so they were quite smooth to start off with and it doesn't look like there's any sort of problem with them. So that's good. They haven't gotten sticky or weird. So I can feel, yeah, they feel fine. They're not scraping up or anything like that. So that's good. They're not softening. So now I can feel pretty good about making a snow globe that looks really cute. Aren't these cute? I think they would make a, a real cute little scene of some sort. Um, I'll have to think about that. Um, in another video, we'll probably make a snow globe. One thing that I did notice as I was putting the glitter into the jar, um, some glitters acted really differently. And I'm, I'm going to show you that in a second. But this jar here, I did some more, threw in a bunch of different types of glitter. And some of it will behave quite a bit differently. Some disappears completely in the water and you might as well not even put it in there. Um, some just floats around. This particular um, type that's in there, just hanging there, looks um, looks interesting. It looks a little like a blizzard, but it doesn't seem to fall very well. So I'll just explain those to you. Okay, so I have jars. You could use whatever you wanted and I'm gonna experiment. I found these at Michael's. They're um, fill your own kind of um, jar that has like a snow globe that has a seal that you put into the bottom. You, you put your little scene onto here, you glue it on or whatever. You attach this into there and then screw on the bottom. Um, I want to do some testing to see whether um, or not that the base can handle any heat or not because I would like to make something a little bit similar to this base here. Um, but I may have to just make a mold of it. I don't know if this can go in the oven or not. So that'll be in more test lab in the future. But here I've got a jar you could use. Um, there's lots of different options for making your own um, snow globe. But I've just got water in here. You can put distilled water in. 
that would be good. It would uh, stay clear longer probably. Um, if, especially if you have water that has a lot of like, if it's hard water, or a lot of minerals or things in it. And all you need to do is add some glycerin. Um, you can find glycerin in a couple of different places. Um, this bottle here is made by Wilton and I found it in the baking section at Michael's. Um, glycerin is basically a water-based um, solution. It's quite thick, but it acts like an oil. So um, it can be used to keep things from drying out, paints, there's all sorts of neat things that can be done with glycerin. And in this case, it would be used in icings and stuff. It's actually uh, food safe. And then this glycerin is just a really old bottle that was found in the pharmacy. Um, and it's used, in, it says on here, it can be used as an, um, like an oil uh, lotion, but you can, it also can be used as a laxative and a bunch of different things. So. It's an interesting product, but all you need to do is add, all you need to do is add a little bit into the water just to make it thicker. So you can add a tablespoon or so. I'm gonna use this other bottle because it's older and might as well use it up. It's easier to pour out too. So you just, now this one has a little bit of a yellowish tint to it. The other one has um, a very, very clear tint. But as you pour it in, you can see it just sort of disappears. It melts right in. And it's, a, it's an interesting thing. I should do more videos on um, the different uses of glycerin with crafting. You can use it with your paint brushes to keep the paint wetter longer and all kinds of stuff. Then you want to put in your glitter. Now, I'm going to show you the ones that don't work as well, just to show you. If you use something like this, this is um, Tim Holtz's Stickles. It's called Distress Stickles, and it is a really neat looking glitter, super sparkly. But if you put it in here, what happens is the glitter just disappears. You can't even see it in there. And it's something to do with the way the light hits it and everything. I mean, you can kind of see some grains in there. There's a few bubbles in here, but it just basically disappears. So for an expensive or well, it's not that expensive, but you know, it's not super cheap. It's not worth putting in your in your uh, snow globe because you're just not going to see it. Glass glitter is pretty much the same thing. Um, you may see it. Here's some glass glitter here. You can see there's some, a few grains in there, but it just kind of sinks to the bottom. It doesn't show as well. Um, I'll shake that one up in a minute. One that looks really great in there is some of the larger glitters. This is um, one by Marquee. This is the Heidi Swap Marquee Love glitter. It's kind of a hexagonal shape. Um, I think I'll just take the top off. It does a strange thing at first where it just sort of sits on the top but then eventually it'll start um, melting in, or it'll mix in properly, eventually. But it kind of does this clumping thing and takes a while to get wet enough. But see how pretty that looks falling in the water there? Um, let's put in, what else do I have? You can also put in like the little eyelash glitters. Um, this one is from uh, Recollections. You can get that at Michael's. It'll leave kind of an iridescent kind of thing happening. And you'll have to play around with the different types of glitter to see what effect you like and do that on before in a sample jar first. And then this other thing that looks quite neat, and it was the one that I was telling you about that ends up hanging in the water, like um, just like a blizzard, is this stuff called Flower Soft. And um, it's meant for card making and stuff, and you can add it with a little bit of glue. You could probably find something quite similar um, in the Christmas decorating area, but it really looks like snow. So you can put that something like that in as well. It really also floats and takes a while to kind of get incorporated in to the water. So I'll have to, I'll put the lid on 
Now it, it gets messy because it's so close to the surface. Now I would have glued onto here whatever uh, polymer clay thing I was thinking of doing, probably a bit of a mount. I'm gonna work on that now, now that I know that it's gonna be fine. You just would seal it up, probably seal it up with some silicone and then just shake it. See how pretty that is? And see how it all just sort of hangs in, in the water. The lighter glitters hang differently. And so you'll want to play with that. Maybe you want to use some colored glitter. I recently saw a little um, snow globe that was Halloween themed actually. It had um, black glitter and little uh, skulls and crossbones and things on it and a little haunted house in the center. So you could do this Halloween, Christmas time, whenever you want to. So I am happy to know that the glycerin and the water are not affecting the polymer clay, even if it's been soaked in there for months. So that brings in a lot more options for what we can do um, with our polymer clay designs in a Christmas snow globe. So I hope that was helpful for you. If you like this video, do let us know. Um, leave your comments in the comment section below. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, you know, all that fun stuff. All right, so we'll see you next time and bye for now.